Welcome to Terra Farmercraft, episode four. Uh, when we left off in episode three, I just finally found the first uh, ore body of some tetrahedrate underground, which is pretty exciting. And so at the start of this episode, I'll be mining it. And, you know, mining can be kind of boring in Minecraft. So I'll do it in vignette style, just cutting in and out for any bits that might be a little bit interesting to you. So let's get into it. Ah, there we go. Oh, I wonder if it's possible. Oh, actually, that looks like magnetite. No, that's tetrahedrite. Ah, yeah, there we go. Okay, now you noticed when we, I mentioned when we smelted it up, it takes uh, one full mold to do a tool head, or a sword blade for that matter. Excuse me. I belched in case you didn't hear it. Um, and each of those small ores that we found on up top has 10 units of, uh, of metal in it. So it takes 10 of those to fill up a mold. Well, each of these puppies here has 25. So it only takes four of these to fill a mold. So if you have a look here, I'm doing 11. So once I take this guy, oh, I already have three tools worth. Isn't that sweet? It's kind of weird the way the uh, saltstone is mixed in here. The other tool I yearn after is the saw. I mentioned the saw before, and it's very important that it cuts planks. That opens up all kinds of things. Because you need planks to make a bed. Well, the bed will be able to sleep the night away, of course. The usual Minecraft thing. Doesn't take regular, doesn't take the regular mi vanilla Minecraft plank blocks. It takes the actual plank items. TFC plank items, rather. Oh, how far does this go? Um, like I said, it allows to build a bucket, which can be used for a variety of things, but... Right now, my big interest in a bucket is so I can make bread, get collect water to make bread. Odd that you can't use the jug for that, but that's the way it works. Having said that, I've actually never tried, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't work. So we'll try that when we get back. Uh, what's the other big thing that I'm looking forward to with a saw? Oh, yeah, I finally be able to make chests. These clay vessels are all well and good, but they don't hold nearly as much as a chest does. I just realized that my, uh, when I was talking about possibly building the quern, I wasn't going to work. Because I need a pick. I'd need three tools. I need a pick. Well, let's, let's start with the with the bucket. Like I said, I need a bucket to collect the water. For the bucket, I need the saw to make the planks. So that's one tool. To collect the raw stone, I need a pick to chip it out. But you also, for a quern, need smooth stone. And for that, you need a chisel. So it wasn't going to work anyway. So it's a good thing I decided to do it this way. Otherwise, I'd be looking pretty foolish right now. There's regular bronze, which requires tin and copper. So this gives us the copper, but for tin, we would need cassiterite. Uh, throw away more of the siltstone. There's bismuth bronze, which requires bismuth and zinc, I believe. So all that sphalerite that we've been picking up will give us the zinc. Uh, what do I have here? I can throw away. Don't need dirt. But I haven't run in a bismuth yet either. So. And now we just have to get back up to the surface. Which for now we're going to do... Oh, with a dirt ladder. Oh, I threw all that dirt away, didn't I? Oh well. 
not the most convenient thing, but we can use cobble. And there we go. Now we'll head home. And you definitely don't have to sit through this. So I'll, oh, see there, I just lost my jug. Lost my second jug of water. Clay stuff is breaking all the time. Maybe you don't have to sit through this, so I'll see you when I get back home. Okay, well, I just got back home here. And what do I find? But look at this. Our onions have come in. So our first harvest. Oh, I need to unload some stuff first. Don't need this piece of dirt here. So, uh, just let me double check. Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, just for those of you who have not played Terraform Crap before, a hoe has different modes that you select using the M key. Uh, so you've already seen it in the, um, in the hoeing mode where it creates hoe ground. This mode I'm in now, uh, if you look down to the right of my hotbar, you can see it cycling through these different modes. So that's the hoeing, hang on, that's the hoeing mode there. Uh, that's nutrition mode. That'll, that'll tell you what nu nutrients are left in the ground, um, which helps you better plan your planting. Uh, that doesn't work with a stone hoe. You need a metal hoe for that. Uh, this one tells you whether it's hydrated or not. So you can see these guys, the blue means they're hydrated. You have to be within four of water for it to be hydrated. And then this tells you the crops ready and you can see green, these crops are ready. Red, these crops are not. So demonstrate that to you, but I could just tell by looking at them because I know these guys. Whoops, I know my onions. There we go, seven onions. And no sooner do our onions come in than we plant a couple more. Oh, I'm going to have to throw something out again. Well, gems are basically useless in the game. So let's convert two of those onions into four onion seeds. Okay, we're starting to get into evening here. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is smelt up some of this lovely ore we found and start making our tools. But before that can happen, I'm going to have to make a quick cut to uh, start up a new recording session before my hard drive fills up. So fade to black. Okay, well, I'm back. And it uh, may have just been a second or two for you guys, but it's been several days for me. And I kind of screwed up. <laughs> um, during the interim, I managed to corrupt the, uh, the saved world that I've been using to, uh, for the series. Fortunately, I did have a backup. The backup was from about the middle of episode two. So I had to load that up and play it through to get me back to more or less the same point. So I've been pretty careful to get the, my inventory the same as it was and all this other stuff the same as it was. But as we wander around, I mean, if any of you are eagle-eyed enough, you might notice that some torches are in a different place or maybe there's a tree missing, in a, you know, a different tree missing than was originally missing. But anyway. So hopefully I've learned my lesson there and we'll uh, be a little more careful in the future. Okay, um, so let's find out what we had in here. Uh, do I room my inventory? Yes, I do. Okay, so let's pick this stuff up. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Where did that dirt block go? There it is. And this is just empty, right? Yeah, this is just for storage. Okay. Um, oh, oh, actually, we're going to use it right away, I think. Yes. Uh, so what we're going to do, the first thing we have to do is smelt this tetrahedrite. Uh, I, I guess you've already seen me smelt the... Uh, the smaller stuff, but now we're going to load this guy up with uh, 64 of these. Boom chakalaka. All right. Um, and I guess we've got, uh, what did we get? We have a saw mold, good, a sword mold. Okay, we have a ceramic mold. 
what do we have down here? That's an axe, a hoe, a hammer. Yeah, there's one other we want. We're going to want a... Uh, Oh, no, not a hammer. That was a shovel. Yeah, we're going to want a shovel and a chisel. So let's do those up. There's a chisel. Ah, a dicey shovel. Ah, I just screwed that up. I meant hammer. We need a hammer and a chisel. Those are going to become very important. Here we go. And that's just uh, right there. Okay. So let's get our chisel down here, our hammer mold here. And who else do we want? A hoe, shovel, an axe. Yeah, the hoe I can demonstrate some stuff with. But the axe is going to be more useful, so let's do him first. Ooh, is that all the straw I have? It is. Well, we're going to go out and have to go out and breathe the night for a moment. Because we need a wee bit more straw than that. So we can do this firing up. Yeah, for example, I don't know that the pattern in which I've dug out the, uh, the clay here is exactly the same as it was before. Okay, that should be plenty for a firing or two. Let's get back inside where it's snug and safe from the mobs. Okay. Now, oh yeah, there we go. That's enough for two firings if we get to that tonight. Probably don't have enough wood for all that. Oh, I've got some wood here, so yeah, I probably do have enough. Alrighty. Yeah, one problem with doing something like that, I had actually recorded a bunch of... Uh, <clears throat> I had recorded the rest of this session, and then I lost that in the, uh, in the conflagration as well. And so I have to remember now what I had, what I didn't, didn't do... Okay, so he's going along. Um, the rest of this stuff here. So that's probably all we're going to be able to do for tonight. Let's take a quick look at our crops. Oh, here comes a baby zombie. And he's not going to die come morning either. Hmm. Ah, well. Hopefully by morning I'll have a sword. <laughs> <coughs> Because I do... Oh, I have a sword. Yeah, because I have a sword mold here. <laughs> oh, you're going to die, you little bugger. All right. Um, so might as well put some of these things down on the ground where they're not clogging up our inventory. There we go. Um... Yeah, I don't think there's anything else interesting that I can do. I've just got to sit around and wait for this to wait wait for this to smelt. So I'll bring you back in uh, once that's over, and hopefully a little snot goblin out there will have left. See you in a bit. Okay, well it's morning, and uh, the uh, fire just went out here. As you can hear, the little uh, ankle biter is still out there. Yeah, you're gonna get yours soon, buddy. You just wait. Okay, so, this is the fun part. I need a mold. Uh, whoops, do it this way. Fill the mold. And make ourselves a chisel. There we go. Well, 
the mold again. Oh, don't you wander off, you little bugger. I got plans for you. Okay, make yourselves an X. Yeah, it's just going to be tools galore now. I am a tool using ape. And now those tools are going to be made out of shiny red metal. Okay, yeah, who's next on our list? This hammer. Okay. And I'll grab some of these guys off the ground. You, you, and... Oh, yeah, we can't. We don't have you guys yet. So we're not going to be able to make full use of this... Uh, this batch. So eventually this will cool down. I don't know if I mentioned that before or not. So I'm trying to get as much done with it while it's still liquid. And a saw. That is probably the most important thing this round. Getting a saw. Although with a little snot goblin out there. The, uh, the sword blade has certainly moved up in my estimation. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like they got post nasal drip or something whenever they do that. Okay. Uh, yeah. I already know how I'm going to deal with you. Uh, Since you're not so fast when you're swimming. Okay. So that's it. That's all the molds that I have. <clears throat> so put that away. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Get these guys out. Ooh, don't have very many uh, sticks left. A hammer. Oh, plenty of sticks. I got one to spare. Okay. So the first thing we are going to do, do I have any more wood in here? I do, okay, is, oh no, we need more than that. Okay, so uh, when you craft a log with a saw, you get eight planks. So these are these terra firma craft planks, birch planks in this case, doesn't really matter for what I want to do with them. And four planks gives you a plank block, similar to the vanilla ones, except they come in for all the different wood types. Okay. Eight? Oh, I didn't really need eight. Oops. Anyway. And then the usual thing is in vanilla is now we can take four of those blocks and give ourselves a crafting table. Okay, now with a crafting table, what we can do... Ah, yes, that's what we want to do. Uh, let's just start with one. Get another eight planks. And in Terraform Craft, you use planks to build chests. And finally, we have a chest. We have some storage now, yay! I can't put the logs in there. I don't... Oh, the hammer will fit. The chisel should fit. But the... Oh! The prospector's pick is small enough to fit. The hoe isn't. The saw isn't. Um... Ah, but there's something else we can do. Let's get ourselves some more planks! Oh, uh, yeah. See, that's the thing about the saws. You get those planks. So if you put uh, three planks across top, three planks across the bottom, you can make yourself a tool rack. We'll just throw that puppy up there. And we can use that to put our spare tools into, such as our beloved saw. Um, the axe can wait. Yeah, the hoe I don't need right at the moment. All right, where are you, you little bugger? Still around somewhere? Oh, don't tell me you finally left. Now that I'm ready for you, you left? Yeah. Haha. <laughs> ha. 
He knew. He knew that I could take him. Really not out here anywhere. Okay. Well, fine. Okay. Now, another thing we can make. Another thing we now have the ability to make. Let's grab our saw again. Uh, let's throw some more of these up here. Is, uh... Wooden buckets. And they're not as useful as they used to be. But we'll get back to that in a moment. Okay. Now, the next thing we need to do... Let's check on our food here. Ah! Our crop is coming in. Okay. Which reminds me... Where are those other peppers? What time is it? Oh, it's 1600 already? Arr. Okay, I'll try and show you this quickly. Where's my old hovel? Over here. Okay. Okay, you can pick up these you can, these raw stone blocks, and the way you do it, like like just one of these blocks, like normally if I just hit it with the ax, with a pickaxe to take it out, then I get you know some rubble, some stone. But if I take out all of the blocks connecting it, that gives me a smooth block. this guy here oh yeah no this one's gonna take a little bit longer because like I said you have to move all the blocks are doing it and that's not just the stone blocks but also actually let's go with our copper pick here but also any block hatching which includes this wooden block that I placed here a while ago which is gonna take a while to dig through and that gives us that okay uh, I haven't got too much time to explain things right now Ah, I don't have the hammer and the chisel with me. Drat. Dratity drat drat. Alright. Uh, I may just have to hold up for another night. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> I'm going to hold up for another night, and uh, while that's going on, I'll make a few more things, like I need a new pick. So I'll fire up another one of those. Um, what else am I going to need? So I've got the shovel blade already there. I've got a hoe there. I've got a new pick. I don't need a new um, prospector's pick. It's still in good shape. Don't need a, I don't need a steel knife yet. Oh, a scythe. That's the other thing I'm going to want, is a scythe. Okay, so I'll fire these up, to, and then i uh, get back to you in the morning, when we can do some more interesting stuff. Okay, well, morning's here. The fire's still running. Won't, it'll be done in a pretty quickly. Um, I made one wee mistake, though, is um, I'm firing up four more molds worth of stuff. But while I'm doing that, of course, my uh, copper in here has cooled down, so if I right-click on it, nothing happens because it's a solid mass of copper in the bottom of that thing now, so I can't pour it out anymore. I should have, instead of cooking up four molds in here, I should have cooked up three molds and thrown him back in to keep him hot. Anyway, so that means I'll have to do another firing before I can pick up any more. Uh, yeah, we can leave that. Okay. But, we, good news keeps coming over this way though. We've got more peppers. So we'll let those guys continue to come in. Uh, we should plant some more. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, get our hoe out here. Now 
Now, something I just discovered recently, like between episodes, uh, it used to be with a bucket of water. <clears throat> um, Terraform Craft had this special kind of water. It was it was um, non-source block water. So, you know, in, in normal Minecraft, you can pick up, get a metal bucket, you can pick up a, uh, a block of water, and you can, like, put it up here, maybe, and it'll form a waterfall that will pour down continuously. Well, a terraform craft with a wooden bucket, you'd put water up here and it would actually flow down, like empty out of here, flow down to here and go in. So that would, interesting, but the big thing was you could dig a hole in the ground, you could dump some water in it, and that would allow you to irrigate this whole area around here. But they got rid of that, I don't remember why, there was a good reason to get rid of it, but, so ne the net result is now that there's no way for me to get water up here to irrigate, uh, which means I'm going to have to put all my farmland right next within four blocks of the river here so I guess this I'll turn into my uh, livestock yard even though I'm not going to be eating the meat I still want to get the hides and the wool and stuff like that off of them so but it does mean I'm going to have to do a lot of digging here to clear out more room uh, for crops and I'll do that off camera because who wants to watch me dig I mean I don't even want to watch me dig but <clears throat> unless I'm willing to you know hire some neighborhood kid to come in and do it for me um, actually, I guess, you know, internet, I don't have to get someone from the neighborhood. I just have to get someone from the net hood. Okay, so, uh, what was I wanted to demonstrate here? Ah, yes, uh, except that's waiting for the chisel. Okay. Well, let's get these guys out of here. Okay, and I got a block here waiting to go in there. Okay, you guys can just all go in there for now. Oh yeah, I made myself an extra ceramic jug because I realized I was down to just one. And that's never good, so... I don't want to end up dying of thirst somewhere. Okay, so there's my chisel. And there's my hammer. And so I'll go and demonstrate how the chisel works. <coughs> Whee! Oh no, this is... Whee! I'm shopping. Well, not really. Okay. Okay. Like the hoe, the uh, chisel has a bunch of different modes. And you can see there down to the right of my hot bar, that's the first mode. That's smoothing. So in smoothing mode, I'll come up here and do one up here. Um, you basically, <clears throat> it bevels the corners and smooths off the rock. And the nice thing about that now is that instead of uh, the rock just crumbling when you mine it, you get it as a block. So that's a smooth stone block. So the ones I picked up last night were raw stone with the hard sharp edges and this here is smooth stone. So smooth stone we need for a variety of reasons. Uh, one of the biggies being that, uh, that I want to make a quern out of it. But also this is going to be the stuff we're going to finally build a decent home out of. Or at least one of the primary materials, the foundation as it were. But uh, you, you don't want to watch me do this. So, anyway, so that's that. Uh, other modes on the chisel. Uh, let's go. You use the M key to switch between modes. Uh, this is stair mode, so you can turn it into stairs, which you can then walk up without jumping without having to press the dreaded air, uh, space bar key. Um, however, it's in, they're made in place, so I can't take it up and then carry those stairs with me. It's just carving the rock in place into the shape of a stairs. Uh, the next mode is slab mode, which is kind of nice, as you can, like, take, you know, uh, take some slabs of stone off the top, off the sides, you know, and see if I take one more off here, it becomes a step. So it's like there are eight segments in every direction, and so you can just like chew those down until you, you know, if you want to get yourself a little tiny block, you can end up with that. You know, making some maybe some stone trim to go around the edge of a edge of a wall or something like that. And you can also uh, use it to trim, you know, trim this uh, smooth stone. And you can use it. I thought you could use it. On wooden blocks. Oh, it's planks. Do I still have the planks with me? No. 
Uh, yeah, but on plank blocks, you can use it to trim those as well. And the last mode is the funkiest. It's the funkiest, but it's, to me, it's the least useful. It's, um, it's mostly decorative for decorative work, but in this mode, the uh, <laughs> lighting glitch. Um, in this mode, the block gets broken up into an eight by eight by eight mini blocks, and then you can just carve those out. So you can, you know, carve out funky patterns in the rock, and you know it's possible if you, you know, do it carefully in that you make like a little chair out of it and stuff like that. So this is this is nice for making up things that look like something out of stone. So it's pretty cool. But um, there, there's nothing really functional that I can think of. I mean, next thing I know, someone will come along and uh, show me that I'm wrong. Uh, but the same with the stairs is you can't take them up. And the same is true of these slabs. It's still in place. But since it does work on the smooth stone, you can take up a smooth stone, put it down where you want, and then turn it into slabs or stairs or those micro blocks. So that's those guys. Um, now I just want to gather up a few amount of sticks, and I don't yet have a side. Well, this seems like as good a place as any to end the episode while I'm while my other self is sitting here whacking away at some tree branches. Um, so hopefully in the next episode, I might get around to uh, building myself a proper home because I'm getting kind of tired of having it rain on my head all the time. But that will have to wait to episode five, and I hope I see you back for it. Bye.